Hey, how you doing? My name is Jared. What we want to do here is take about five minutes. We want to run through your website. We want to talk about Google search. We want to talk about how do we get ranked and how do we outrank those competitors of yours, right? We want to grow your traffic, increase incoming leads, and convert those leads into sales. But let's talk about that. All right, so here we are on your website. We just want to run through this for two seconds here and just kind of spend a couple of times talking about uh, what we see. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and see if we can save this image as. So painting service in Richmond, VA. So there we go is a very good example of how do we name these photos. I want to make sure that we're doing this throughout the whole website. And then this painting service in Richmond VA, we want to make sure that's actually a keyword that is getting search volume. So I went ahead and searched painting contractors. No, and I did find a handful of painters with that. So that's one of those keywords that we can be targeting. But we want to go ahead and do research and make sure that we're not wasting our time as we name these things. So let's try one more. So that's named the same. Whenever I see them named the same, so that's named the same again. So we're really targeting painting service. So we're going to see when we look at the back end if painting service is one of those keywords we're getting found for, you know, quite, um, you know, and ranking well with it. So let's go ahead and dive into that real quick. So here we are on the back side of the website. So I don't know if you named those photos yourself or if it was a coincidence, something like that. Um, but right here, you're getting no traffic to the website. You're getting found for 12 keywords total. And then right here, your backlink and you know domain profile is almost non-existent. We can come in here and see you have keywordsuggesttool.com. And so you can see that there's just a couple of, um, it just tells you what the title of the pages that you're on and then what your actual tag looks like. And you're not getting any credit for those. You see the no follow there. So out of your entire two, zero of them are giving you credit. You can see that zero there. So here we are in the uh, actual keyword section of the overview here. So painters, Richmond, Virginia is one of those that we want to be found for. So it looks like you're doing well with getting found for some of these keywords. Like painters, Richmond, VA. There's 400 people, very low difficulty, and you're sitting on the sixth page for that one. Um, so, you know, very unfortunate, so to speak. Uh, to see those kinds of things. We really want to try and bring that up. So you can see you're getting found for all of the keywords. You know, not very often do you have somebody who's getting found for all of the keywords and is not ranking, you know, better than this. So we're sitting at the sixth, seventh page, eighth page, ninth, tenth page for all of these keywords that are about your services. Nobody's going that far down the list. We need to get you sitting up on that first page, you know, and getting some traffic brought in. All right, so here, let's just take a look and see if we can find a competitor real quick. So up here is the ads. So as you're looking in here, this cost per click, so $12, $14, um, $10, so somewhere in there, $10 to $15 is what these guys are paying every time I click on one of these. So this is Home Advisor. Just sent them a little bill for $12. Bucks. Um, not an issue for me. It doesn't matter. So right here, this is the uh, this is the organic map pack. So this is how we so how we go about this, rather, is um, we actually come in and we want to get your citations out there, your name, your address, and your phone number. So the information that you see displayed right here on this bullock his name address and phone number that's the same information we'd want to go out and you know spread that around on all the directories things like that to build out that web presence right here's the organic section you can see these first three are going to be the big names so home advisor better, better business bureau and yelp um, people get scared off by this they think there's no way to outrank these giant websites and it's just simply not true google knows that these big websites if the, if they gave them you know straight authority to just run the world they would be able to outrank every single small business in the country. And that's not what Google wants. So Google gives you a big step up as being a local painter, local professional in the area. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these guys here and see what kind of, uh, you know, website they've got. All right, so here we are on the website, just a little bit generic. You know, it looks like they may have had this created for them. Um, they have some sort of a, you know, a, whatchamacallit, Mascot, there it is. All right, and then you see they're doing service in a lot of different towns in the area. So that's you know just another way to build out that presence, to have all those links in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back end of the website and just see. All right, so I just dove right into the keyword section. So Painters, Richmond, Virginia, they're sitting at number three, getting 45 people a month off of that. So that's every month. It's just going to be continuously bringing in that traffic by having that presence. So interior painting, again, sitting at number one bringing in 18 out of 80 and these are photos too so they're ranking with a photo on those so that's something that we need to take some more closer look into so richmond painters 
they're sitting on the first page of that. But if you look at their position, every one of these on the first page here is sitting on the first page. So they have all of these keywords that their website is getting found for on the first page. So you can see that this one just adds up over time, over keywords. Everything starts to add up, and we really start to see some results. All right, so then what I want to do is just kind of show you. We went into keywords. Let's go into domains here. Uh, so we're, if we were to come in and try and outrank these guys, we want to kind of analyze where all their domains are coming from and see what we need to do for competing with them. So this, this one right here on the top that has 125 links going back to them, I would straight ignore that, that NA, this 0, this 2, this 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0. So they've reached out to a ton of these crap websites uh, that I just wouldn't want to associate with personally. So, you know, visitd.com, that might be something we want to look at. So we come in here, and we're just going to go see if we can find it and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are, and you can see that this is your business listing. And then if we just come in here, we can click on that link, and that's going to take us back to your website. So that is a backlink. And if we were to try and grab this from them, we'd want to come in and add a new business. They're not all that easy. This one's pretty easy. It's also in Australia, uh, which is going to be a negative. We won't really want to kind of reach out to those local websites, those local businesses, um, and show Google that we are local, right? So we really got to be careful on who we're associating with and uh, what kind of backlinks we're going out and getting as we're trying to rank our house. <laughs> I was looking at this picture of this house. Website. All right, that is all I've got for you. Went ahead and take a look at your house. I mean, website. I'm just kidding. Um, but if you have any questions, please give me a call. My name is Jared. My phone number is 402-515-7222. I'd love to chat with you and help you uh, understand anything that you have questions on as we move forward here. Thanks.